people i am bharat acharya welcome to our new video today we are adding this new chip in our 8085 series the chip that we are discussing today is 8155 tremendous demand from students so please make a video on 8155 i am not making one video i am going to do the whole chip like we have done all other chips i am going to do the whole chip so in this video we could be discussing the architecture and the salient features of 8155 there is something very peculiar about this chip you know what is 8155 it's called programmable io and timer that means it does two things it is an io chip as well as a timer chip now what do you understand from this io chip was 8255 remember 8255 provided you three ports port a port b port c it did handshaking and all those fantastic methods of data transfer 8155 can also do that it also has ports it can also do handshaking similarly it has timers now where did we learn timers tell me tell me come on put some stress on your brain when did you learn timers 8254 pit programmable interval timer yes so 8254 had three timers which had six boards of operations so you could do a variety of waveforms from that i hope you remember that 8155 also has a timer so it has internal io ports it has internal timers plus it has internal memory it has 256 bytes of on chip ram plus it has many more interesting features on chip address data demultiplexing on chip decoding of io/mbar read bar write bar so what does this do some people say yeah they use that word jack of all trades that's what 8155 is it will do everything not as good as 8255 when it comes to data transfer but it still does it it still does handshaking not as good as 8254 in terms of timers the 8254 had six modes this has four modes that had three timers this has one timer but if you want to produce one delay this can do it and the four modes are pretty interesting it will produce your square wave it will produce your rectangular wave it will do your frequency division whatever 8254 did so it provides the best features of 8255 8254 plus ram plus the latch plus the decoder all together put inside one chip so what is the advantage the obvious advantage of using 8155 a compact circuit there is a name for it minimum system of 8085 in case you've seen that in your college and you're wondering where you studied from this is where you studied from the minimum system the name gives you the answer the smallest computer system that you can make using 8085 microprocessor involves 8155 chip because this one chip alone brings so much on the table it gives you what 3 4 5 other chips would have done where you would need a big motherboard to design the system you can do it with direct connections between 8085 and 8155 that you learn when we do interfacing so that is the purpose of learning this chip So that's what we're going to do. Like I said, we'll make several videos. We'll have a separate video for the timer section, separate video for data transfer, handshaking modes, the programming of it, and the interfacing of it. Today's video, we'll be seeing the architecture and all these salient features that I told you about. I'll be breaking it down and telling you in detail what every feature is. That was the introduction. Now you want to watch this whole video. You want to enjoy learning AD AD. Come on my website, www.bharatacharyaeducation.com. The link is given down below. As you click there. you'll see a bunch of courses i teach lots of processors and controllers many more than what i've put over there i'll be making courses for those as well from that select 8085 course this video will be there in the 8085 course select the course click subscribe as soon as you make the payment the course will become active for you your course will be active for 6 months there are about 40 videos that we made in 8085 give or take watch those videos as many times as you like the first time you watch it understand it the second time you watch it master it and then keep watching it till that time you are absolutely sure that you understood everything and you get maximum marks in the exam plus with every video you get a pdf right above the video there is a link called view notes click that and the pdf of that particular topic will open which will have all the theory the circuit diagram the program whichever is relevant to that particular topic so you won't need any other study material in fact you will also get viva questions a whole combined pdf of the whole subjects viva questions plus another pdf of mcq questions the new thing that has started and this is going to be the new normal now so in mcqs we cover all types of questions the simple one the mid level ones and the ones which belong to entrance exam categories yes many students who learn this are preparing for government entrance exams for placement exams and things like that over there obviously they are not going to ask you simple straight forward questions the questions will be to filter the cream of the crowd from the rest so we have questions even for that level and we keep updating them we keep adding new and new interesting questions to it also most importantly you will get direct access to me 
this is my whatsapp number once you're my student you're most welcome to ask me doubts whenever you have a doubt text me on whatsapp as soon as i'm free may not be at that time but as soon as i'm free by the end of the day for sure i will give you a reply okay hope to see you there wish you all the best do well